Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are doing fine today. Our topic for today is the energy efficiency analysis for a school building using the design builder software. The following work is a combined effort of myself, Loya Aridi, my colleagues Samir Dibyan, Yan Bushaheen and Ali Ghlayini, presented to our instructor, Dr. Muhammad Ahmed. Before we kickstart our project, it's important to define a certain parameter which is very crucial to our analysis, which is the energy efficiency analysis. Energy efficiency analysis is the process of evaluating and quantifying how effectively a system, process, or building uses energy to perform its intended functions or tasks. Now the goals and tasks, to have a clearer view of our project, the primary goal here is to try and design a model of a school in Beirut, Lebanon, which is a coastal part, using Design Builder, then attempting to apply the concept of energy efficiency that we just explained in the energy analysis section of the project. Okay, so this analysis will be focusing on the heating and cooling needs of the project. All of this while comparing the three most important scenarios, working scenarios we will be talking about, which are the baseline scenario, the Lebanese thermal standard, and the optimal model. Here we can observe a 3D model of the site. We had a 2D sketch of the site, and we transformed it into a 3D model using Design Builder. Thank Here you, we can see a plan so for the construction part. The external layers used are lightweight concrete block with an air gap and uh, plasterboard. The roof is a medium weight uh, typical uh, flat roof and the partitions is a 100 millimeter, uh, millimeter lightweight uh, concrete block plastered both sides. The windows are double glazed uh, clear 6 millimeter as shown in the opening sec section of the design builder. The, the height of the window is 1.2 meter and the uh, width is 2 meter. Moving on to the energy analysis of the, Lebanese, of the Lebanese thermal standards, the simulation shows us a, a reduction in the total cooling load to 141.79 megawatt hour and the zone heating to 18.08 megawatt hour. Uh, this table shows a comparison between the baseline scenario load and the Lebanese thermal standard load. Uh, it is clearly shown that there is a reduction of 100 from 122.21 uh, kilowatt per hour per meter squared to 107.26 kilowatt hour per meter squared, and the percentage reduction of 12.23 percent. Now, in conclusion, uh, after we've reached our uh, targeted uh, percent our tar targeted percent in comparison to the baseline scenario of 31.3 uh, reduction. Uh, it's uh, efficient to say that uh, nowadays buildings require more uh, heating and cooling loads. This reduction also uh, decreases the impact of carbon footprints and on the overall uh, energy consumption. Now, Tips for saving energies, energy in school. First, first, take advantage of the natural sunlight. Second, invest in renewable energies. Third, change the television uh, to LCD screens or smart projects. And fourth, switch to LED light bulbs. And finally, use sensors for light. 